Good day everyone, Mr. Cargill here with our next AutoCAD video. Now for this video, I'm going to be showing you how to construct an Archimedean spiral in AutoCAD. Now an Archimedean spiral is this drawing right here. This drawing right here. Alright. And it says that an Archimedean spiral is the locus of a point which moves uniformly along a straight line rotating about a fixed pole at uniform speed all right so this would be the pole here and it's moving along the line and it's moving around the pole at a uniform speed it says mark oa right here 30 and ob 90. all right so it says to draw an archimedean spiral when the pole the shortest radii and the longest radii are given so this is the pole o this is the shortest radii oa and then the longest radii OB. Alright, so now we are going to draw our Archimedean spiral. So we'll start by drawing um OA and OB. So I'll just select a circle and it says that OA is 30. So my from, from a circle, my uh radius is going to be 30. Alright, so that is OA there, and then for OB it's 90 the radius is would be 90 because from o to b is 90 so 90 all right now the next thing we need to do is to divide this circle into 12 equal parts so let me draw a line to there so down here from that quadrant to this quadrant here just ensure that you have a quadrant turned on in object snap all right ensure that you have um quadrant turned on all right, and um, then I'm going to draw a line from the quadrant over by the left to the quadrant over on the right here. So to divide the circle, I'm just going to click on both these lines. And I'm going to select array. And I'm going to click polar array. All right, and then I'm just going to click right in the center of the circle there where the lines meet. And now, just like that, my circle is divided into 12 equal parts. Lovely. Now, to label, let me just select a text and select multi-line text here. So the center here would be O. Alright, so let me just do this. Create like a little rectangle there. And um, I'm going to write O, since the center of the circle is going to be O. And then from the center to the small circle is going to be um, A, the small, and then um, to the large circle is going to be B. So this is O. Let me just type O there. All right. Let me copy this. Do I probably want to scale it to about twice the size. I'm going to click on scale here. And I'm going to click on this. And I want to scale it by 2. So 2 enter. And it's now twice the size. All right. So let me move it from there and bring it to where I want it which is right at the center down here I probably made it too big so that's O all right and then let me copy O so that I can label A here so right over here would be A and then over here we would have B good and I'm going to need to number the different parts of the circle so let me do that also I'm just I'm gonna change the values. Let me just uh, copy this, and then I can change the O and put in the actual values that it should be. All right, lovely. This point, that point, and that here. Nice. All right. Now I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to. Put in the current values for these things here so this is a here so that's a and then over here we have b all right so if you look at the drawing here you will see that we have o a and b then we have one two three and so on all the way to 11 and then b and 12 would be the same point so we're going to go ahead and number the points on our circle all right this is one right here
and i'm just numbering now so if you want to you can just skip through the video to the point where i'm finished uh with the numbering all right that's two and then here we have three over here is point four followed by five this is six seven this over here is eight nine ten is there eleven is over here good those are our points all right no it says here in the instructions that we are supposed to it says using a ascent and radius ob draw a circle to divide the circumference into 12 which we already did we divided the circle into 12 all right so the next thing we're going to do it says divide a b into 12 equal parts also so a b from a to b we're going to divide a b into 12 equal parts now that's our a b but if i click on that line as you can see it highlights everything and i don't want it to highlight everything i just want to highlight a b so what I'm going to do is to, type, is to use the explode command so that it will treat each, each line individually. So I use the explode command. So now if I click on this line here, you see it just highlights that line. However, I don't want all the line. I just want A, B. So I'm going to trim by typing T, R, enter, enter. And I'm going to trim from A to B. All right. And then I'm just going to draw that back as a separate line. From A to the quadrant, which is B. No. What we're going to do here is to divide this. So to divide that, I'm just going to type divide. Then I am going to click on the line. It says enter the number of segments. I want to divide it into 12. So I'm going to type 12 and press enter. It's, it's divided into 12, but it's not showing. So for it to show, I'm going to type DDP to find the division points and press enter. And then this comes up and you can use any one of these to mark your points. I normally use this one. And uh, you can change the scale of them and two should work. Um, so two and then these points come up and you can see where um, your work is divided. Where line is divided. Alright, so now I'm going to label these points here from 1 to 12. So let me just select a multi-line text. I'm going to come here. I'm going to make label this 1. Alright, so... I'm just do this i'm just move this from there bring it to this point here i'm going to turn on ortho so that the numbers are you know on the same point across meaning that they're level and it looks kind of straight and neat all right so now i'm going to copy this one here and i'm going to bring it to all the other points let's look at these points right here lovely now i am going to change these values so this here would be two and so on again i'm just numbering so you can skip through the video until i'm finished with the numbering all right so this is four five is here This is six. Then over here we have point seven, eight, nine. This is ten. 
and then over here we have 11 let me just move this a bit back because it's so close to the 10 that the 10 looks like it's 101 so let me just move it over a bit let me turn off um arthur and just move it over here a little i don't want it over there let me turn off object snap also let me just move it here yeah i know let me change this from 1 to 11 nice all right so this point here is 11 i might need to move the 10 down a bit like this yep and then move the 11 up a bit more because it looks like it's right where the b is yep all right nice so now we have those points so to plot our um archimedean spiral we're going to need some circles and let me just draw these circles in construction lines all right so i'm going to select um a dark gray color since it's construction but the circles are, are going to come from o. o is the center let me turn on back objects now all right so from o to one that's my first circle you can just press space bar to get the last command get back a next circle and then click here from o to two all right then three four Five, six, seven, eight. I'll just say to get these points here, for your circle to stamp to those points, you have to have um center turned on and geometric center turned on as well, and also node. All right, you can just turn on everything in object snap to be on the safe side. All right, but for, for it to snap to these points, you need center, geometric center, and node. All right, so select a circle now. So nine right there, from O to 10, 11, and so on. Lovely, now we can plot our points for our Archimedean spiral. So let me just select a bright color to draw the spiral. And then I'm going to type spleen S P L I N E. And the Z A would be the same point as zero. So this is where we start. A would be zero and B would be twelve. Same points. Right, so we're starting from A. So our first point is A. Alright. So where this vertical sorry, where this horizontal line is, where it meets A, that's our first point. So now this line here. All right, this is the second line. So this would be zero and this would be one. As you can see, this is line one. And then this here is circle one. So circle one meets line one here. All right. Then we have circle two, which meets line two here. See that? Good. Circle three meets line three there. Circle four meets line four here. Circle five meets line five there. Circle six meets line six there. Circle 7 meets line 7 here. Circle 8 meets line 8 there. Circle 9 meets line 9 there. Circle 10 meets line 10 here. Circle 11 meets line 11 here. And then 12 is our last point, which is the same as B. And then just press spacebar. Alright. And just like that, we have our Archimedean spiral. Alright. So that's how you draw an Archimedean spiral in AutoCAD when you are given the pole. The shortest radii and the longest radii. Alright, thanks for watching and do have yourselves a wonderful day.